So where's Chira? Uh, listen, Ogar, he, um, wants to keep fighting. Stupid bastard. That's it. No more kid gloves. He needs his ass kicked before he gets killed. They'll kill you. Or they won't. You can't help him dead. Good point. I still want him out. Yeah, there might be another way. Could leave on his own. The hell you mean? Look, I mean, I'll beat Skullface. Chiro wants him. If Skullface loses, Chiro can't lose. Some plan. Kill Skullface. Except you can't. No offense, Aiden. Got a better idea, then? No. Find my old dressing room. I buried my armor and the weapon there. Do I need rusty armor and old weapons? Only if you want to beat Skullface. I won the tournament with that gear. Yeah, thanks, Ogar, but I need an upgrade. You need to listen, boy. You're a goddamn jumper, not a fighter. Tetsuo crafted this gear for me especially. Tell him it's old and rusty. Now find my room and report back. Look, no offense, Ogar, but... Okay, I'll think about it. that armor. Ogar, I'm in your room. Okay, tell me what you see. God was the bad guy in that one, wasn't he? Ugh, looks like he's a skull face fan. Ah, the new guy has some nice armor himself. You sure that wouldn't do? That shit's aluminum foil compared to my gear. Wow, a tiger skin rug. Hmm, living large, Ogar. Uh, 
Well, at least I know you're in the right place. I stashed the armor behind the rug. Keeping? Oh, well, that's okay then. Hey, wait a minute. This place ain't got no housekeeping. And why is there a hole in my wall? <sighs> You're fucked now. These are my digs. <laughs> Lousy thing. <laughs> thing since I've been here. Thought it looked nice. A legend used to live here, you know. Ogar. Wait, you're looking for his armor? Thought he gambled away everything he had. Gamble? You didn't know? He was more than just a champion. Remember watching him fight. I wanted to be just like him. But there wasn't a bet he wouldn't take. That shit, it brought him down. Probably used it for a bet. You know where the armor could be? You think I'd be using that pile of scrap if I did? Man, if I'd even thought it was here. Clearly it wasn't. I guess I'd better go. Found your hiding spot. It's empty. I was sure that no one could find it there. <sighs> Go be you on. Not so good with secrets. I was drunk when I told her. You won? Yeah. Last time I saw her, she worked as a craft master in Carnage Hall. Unless she gave up on that too. It won't hurt to check her out, will it? Might change your mind when you meet her. What's it to you? Well, I'm looking for a friend's fighting gear. He says he told you where he hid it. Don't know what you're yapping about. Are you crafting something or what? It was Ogar's armor. You remember him? Ogar? Don't tell me that idiot wants to fight again. Hasn't he lost enough? Oh, I know. He wants to lay it down on a bat. Don't step in Ogar's shit, kid. It don't wash off that easy. Look, uh, if you have it, I can pay. I don't. Sold it to Freddy Stammer a long time ago. Who? Freddy Stammer. As a fighter, he was always number two. Just like his shit personality. Till he finally said the wrong thing to the wrong person and they booted him. Where can I find this Stammer guy? He lives by the electrical substation in Old Villador. But good luck getting it from him. Hey, don't walk off without checking out my wares. Get your armor from that halfman yet? Hey, I may have found your armor. It's with some guy named Freddy. Freddy Stammer. Yeah, I remember him. He was an okay fighter. You have quite the reputation, you know. As a fallen champion. To my little general store. Made out like a bandit. 
as a gambling addict. Just get my gear, okay? Unless you want the skull face to dismember you in two seconds. Looking for Freddy Stamma? Why? What do you want? Listen, I'm not here to hurt you. I'm just looking for some armor. I was told you had it. Armor? What the hell are you talking about? Ogar's armor? Ogar? You on the Craftmaster told me you bought it. Oh, Ogar. Ogar. Yes. Yes, I bought it. To keep it safe for him. But that was some time ago. Did Ogar send you? No, I've just heard he has the best gear, so I want it. Oh, I see. Ogar. <laughs> Figured he'd come sniffing around for it one day. He always had the best gear. <laughs> that armor made him a greater champion than he already was. Wait here. I stored it in the basement. Let me get the key. <laughs> Good times. Me and Olgar. 
<laughs> Fights between us would sell out Carnage Hall. Rivals in the arena. Best friends outside of it. Oh, really? No more fighters like us now. Not at all. Ah, here's the key. Take it. I'd escort you down to the basement, but I can't even navigate the stairs with these eyes. Seems like Freddy was a Carnage Hall celebrity. Wow. He really was a great fighter. Why isn't he showing these off? Time to play, Abel? What? Abel! Should have been him, not you, Abel. I would have won this time. Who's Abel? Why do you keep calling me that? Quit playing. No one else could have kept up with me. And they trained you well. He knew they would. Tell me, Abel. How did that feel? He wore his poker chip. Fucking bet on his pride. What are you talking about? But Astrid got him. Hit him where it hurt the most. <coughs> I've always pitied you, boy. For having that shit as a father. <laughs> so... So Ogar bet his son's life? Gambling is a drug. And Olgar, <laughs> the fucking junkie. Oh, he lost big that day. <laughs> junkie. <laughs> Loser.
wonder you have so many fans. I know about Abel. Abel? Yeah, your son. The one whose life you gambled away. Was it worth it? <laughs> Does Chiro know? I didn't just lose a son that day. See? This was Abel. He was everything to me. It was just one more bet before I took my boys and left the arena behind. Uh, so? What happened? I was at the top. Best of the best. At prestige, fame, money. But all good things come to an end, right? Astrid told me to throw the last fight. Pass the title to some fresh meat she was cultivating. Lose the third round she ordered. That meat was Skullface. We fought one, two rounds. The crowd was mine. I knew it. They chanted my name. Hearing that makes victory so sweet. I was a champion after all. Astrid didn't know that I'd placed a bet. Everything I had on myself to pay the pilgrim that could take us from the city. I waited till the third round and won. I knew she would go after me and my sons. We ran! But her dogs, they caught us. She forced me to hand over one of my sons to become a Carnage Hall gladiator. Shiro or Abel? Shiro or Abel? If I didn't, she would kill them both. So you chose Abel. Shiro was no fighter, but Abel, I trained him. He was fast, strong, but Skullface was too much for him. He was after vengeance, blood. I sent my own son to his death. I should have protected him, but I lost him. All the line in my pockets. I gave up. I had nothing to live for, but Shiro kept me going, even though I didn't deserve it. I am a failure of a father, and he stayed anyway. Listen, you lost Abel, but it's not too late for Chiro. You can sit here and complain, or we can still help him. You're right. It's my last chance to make things right. I'll find my way in, and his way out, I promise. Until I do, go. Stay safe. Keep an eye on him, please. Sure, I will. Fight again, huh? Of course you do.
Those aren't warriors anymore. Ah, thought I wouldn't see you again. What will it be? Astrid signal. She said she'd be waiting in her office. Oh man, that was sick. You're a killing machine, man. Ah, yeah, you again. Yes, your greatest fan, Tobias. Happy to see me. No. Are you stalking me or what? Me? Stalking? Do I look like some kind of weirdo? Well, uh, if you have to ask. Anyway, I couldn't get beyond the walls, but I found a place to train near the bazaar. And I remembered someone else who used to live in your digs. This guy was small, but quick as hell. 
almost made it to the finale. Not as fast once Skullface crushed his spine, though. Anyway, just before he passed, he told me about some place. There's stuff that allows everyone to take inhibitors. You believe that? Everyone. I know where it is. You should check it before the finale. I'll find where I wrote the address and get back to you. Uh, thanks. My pleasure. Good luck, man. Astrid? Uh, I guess she's always been an entertainer of sorts. That was five months before the pandemic. The VNC. Those were the days. We had a saying, doesn't matter what your program is about, it's important to put on a show. I see you've stuck by that saying. Of course. Sorry for the loud music, Aiden. It's to make sure that no one can eavesdrop on us. Who's been listening in on you? Someone who wants to destroy me. I thought I would lose everything until you showed up. What's going on? We can help each other. You win the tournament, and I keep Carnage Hall open. But someone's shutting it down? Too many people are dying in Carnage Hall. Rumors have reached the PK ship. Jack Matt's losing patience. What's me winning have to do with any of this? As long as Skullface is the champion, the slaughter won't end. It'll only get worse. So you want me to get rid of him? I've done all I can on my own, believe me. You see, when I first saw him, I knew he was star material. He felt the audience. He was a winner, fight after fight, just like you. But winning was never enough for him. Skullface became insatiable, started killing. By the time I realized what had come over him, it was too late. Even my guards are afraid of him. I've created a monster, Aiden. I want to stop the slaughter, but I need help. Will you help me? Why should I trust you? You don't have to. You can keep watching people die until it's your buddy's turn. What was his name? Chiro? If not for me, do it for him. Please. But do you have a plan? You saw it in the arena. The infected do not attack Skullface. They're his weapon and his shield. I want to take that away from him. Okay. Any idea how? I've heard screams in his room. I believe he's experimenting on people. We can start there. But you must be careful. Oh, are you worried about me? About us. If he finds out that we're working together, he'll gut us both. Okay, I'll go. And uh, let you know if I find anything out.
something gonna happen.
He marked some spots. One of them hasn't been crossed out. up map in Skullface's room and uh, human entrails. What's marked on the map? It's several locations all crossed out, except one, Pete Street in the Colford Island area. I've heard him talking about this place, but there's, there's a dark zone there. Why would he go there? Mm, I can check it out. Yeah, one more thing, Abel, what do you know about him? It's a long story. And you like to tell them? I'll tell you when you get back. 